Hello, we're going to catch up this evening with one of the superstars of the E-Series, Finn Sargent, quickly looking back at the Buxton meeting from the weekends and looking forward to Northampton this coming weekend. Finn, um, did you enjoy Buxton on Saturday? Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's, it's great fun to do it every week, but uh, I, I definitely had some highlights of the night and some, some low points. Yeah, so, so let's talk about them. So Heat 3, uh, you're winning second, going into the last lap and you try a bit of a... A last bender on Ben Howard. Didn't really work. Uh, no, it wasn't one of my, the best points of my E-Series career. I um, I kind of, it was a bit of a tough challenge to get through the red tops. There was a lot of good red tops in that race. So I managed to get through and work my way to a front. And Ben did a great job of getting in front of the back markers, which made my, my life quite hard on the last bends that you've, you've probably seen. So um, I thought I'd try a bit of a, a different attempt instead of trying to stuff all three of them away. I went across the curb and... I think I ended up in his cage, but um, it didn't quite go to plan and I ended up facing the wrong way and all the tears were crying and everything. And and you crossed the line in, in seventh, that's right. Yeah, that weren't the plan, but that's that's where we ended up, yeah. <laughs> um, so that put you in the constellation. Um, you fared a little better in that race. Where, where did you come in the constellation? I was second in the constellation, so it was the last qualifying spot for the final, which put me on the, the back row of the last car on the grid. Okay. So in the final, um, and we started the final, and again didn't really go according to plan at the start of the race. No, I had a I had a quite a decent start, making my way to like front superstar red top ish, and then all all hell broke loose on one of the corners, and I was under cars on top of the cars in the fence everywhere really, and then uh, actually got lapped I think, and then managed to scrape a ninth just coming through the traffic and pick my way back. So not, not a bad result in the final, I guess, ninth. We, obviously, you were hoping for better. Yeah, obviously, uh, aiming for a top five at least, but it's probably uh, it's probably the same as my actual F1 career at the start of the season last year with not actually finishing a final for the first two months, I don't think. So it's better than my real-life career currently. <laughs> and then we moved on to the Grand National and I guess the first race, race victory for you of the evening. Uh, yeah, it was, I've kind of managed to match the Grand Nationals at the minute. I won, I think I won one previously at Skegness, so it was a bit of a, a lucky draw. I got a bit of a nice line down the inside of turn one and two and managed to take about eight or eight or so cars, I think, and kind of got a plain sailing lead to the distance and ran away with it. There's a bit of a hairy moment, though, going into the last bend. Somebody kind of sort of had to kind of do a bit of a boring action to get around the back marker and stuff, and it was like, oh. Yeah, it were it wasn't it wasn't the plan. Obviously, the plan was to run away in the distance and never look back, and everybody's behind you crashing and in the fence or the bar, right, etc. So, I kind of had a little bit of a nerve wracking moment on the last corner, but it all came good. Yeah, and and the, the last race was the Dutch versus English race. It, it looks very brutal. What what's going on? Uh, it's just pure luck, I think. Um, I've, I was on the on the phone to Charlie Sorder at the time, and we we kind of set out with a plan of I was going to run, he was going to block. That's what we we came up with, and it, it didn't happen. I ended up getting taken out of miles the way down, and I thought, well, then it needs to be another an English lad up there at the top. And I tried to just try to pick my way through and kept going and didn't just stop, and it panned out right, and I managed to get the the flag. And um, is that like a bit of a NZ team style thing you've got going on there? Is that what that race is? Yeah, we were told anything goes literally. So you can you can follow as many people in you want, if they're your team or they're not. So the only rule was to not turn it around and sit on the corner like a banger. But you can, there's a bit of blocking going on. You'll see everybody putting the brakes on and slowing the faster runners down. And then obviously some people get the look of the draw and you, you run on your way through. Brilliant. So that so after four rounds, what's the score between you and the Dutch now then? Uh, I think I think it's even of two two. I won the last English uh, last English teams race. I I won at Skegness, I believe. Yeah. And then did a well, I did a Grand National teams race double at Skegness, and then managed to scrape it at Buxton as well. So I think it's two two at the moment. Mm. All, all to play for this coming weekend. So wh where are you racing this weekend? Uh, we're at Northampton Shareway this this weekend, so I've had a I've had a quick look at the track and a bit of practice, and it's um it's a bit of a, a task in one I'd say to be to be up there at the top. I, people might disagree with me with how to go around it, but I'm trying to drive like tarmac if that's a bit of a bit of an inkling what the track's like. So it's it's going okay at the moment. I've had a couple of good laps, 
but um, I'm not the fastest yet currently, and uh, that's where we want to be. Okay, so a bit more practice, you got a bit of time there until Saturday. Yeah, there's going to be a bit more practice put in between then and now, and I might neglect my own car in the garage at the moment for a bit of a uh, computer racing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I guess my final question, um, you are in a very fortunate position where you've got sort of the, the actual live commentary in your house when the VU Series racing is going on. Do you enjoy that? I mean, your, your dad sort of you're in the same room or very close by? I'm in the conservatory, so I'm about one wall away from him, but I have every door shut possible, every window closed, anything I can do to kind of drown him out, sadly, but... <laughs> um, he's enjoying it. He's got his a celebrity career going on in commentating currently. So, in the future, when he's retired from stock cars, you might see him in a commentary box around the track somewhere. But I'm, at the moment, he's. I'm glad it's just staying in the kitchen. <laughs> Brilliant, Finn. Um, thank you very much for taking time out of even to talk to us about the E Series. And um, good luck for the for the weekend coming. And uh, we'll talk to a different driver next week. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.